All right, let's get started. So if you want to look at a stock that has like a typical pattern for these dips and these gains, just look at a stock like this. Which would be Castlight Health Inc. So, you know, just look at the pattern that it has. It has these gains followed by a dip. It slowly starts gaining momentum again, short dip, then another gain momentum and short dip. And, you know, this just repeats throughout the whole thing. And so you can see it starts from over here from the beginning of the year, starts going down. And in between February and March, it starts gaining momentum again. But once again, all it has is these, these momentum and then it starts dipping itself. Like why were my mouse is pointing at? And so now you could use you could use your screener from your internet broker, but the thing that I use is Finviz. And specifically I use when you look at, at the type, I use advanced because it makes it very easy for me to recognize these patterns. You know, you could try candle or line, but what I do is advanced. And so this this is one of the typical patterns that is very easy to spot that was happening and be able to see these movements that's occurring. So, you know, like right here back in, in November, you have this big dip all of a sudden. And then right here between May and June, you see a big gain in momentum. And once again, it starts gaining momentum, starts dipping again and repeats in process. And so again, how did it fell again towards the end of July? Or toward, yeah, towards the end of June. Not July, just end of June. Starts gaining momentum again. It starts dipping. And so again, back in August, actually this stock was a top gainer. It was a, yeah, it was a top gainer. And it's been a top gainer multiple times, most likely from this, from this day as well. So it started off at, you know, 4, 450. Now it's at 431. So it's, it's a good chance, very good chance. It's going to be dipping again. So I'm just saying this one of the typical patterns that if you want to like buy a stock low and sell it high, this one of the typical patterns that you want to look for exactly. I know just save the stock as your, on your screener. And usually like this is coming Cast Light Health. Let me see. Cast Light, yeah. So usually these companies that are like like penny stocks, you, you will see that their volume is not actually that high. But for this, they let's check it the yeah, let's check the because I already looked at the website before. But usually for these for these penny stocks, you know, they they, they form the, this company, they do it, they don't it doesn't look legit. But if you look at a penny stock, and if you want to tell if it's a true penny stock where they just want to pump it and dump it through the emails through the email or hype it up through momentum and everything then you could just look at the at the website of the company and you know this yeah this looks this looks legit it doesn't look like it was rushed or anything and usually sometimes at the bottom you see the the disclaimer but over here you don't see it see release notes See description document. Yeah, so usually some of these penny stocks that are made just for pump and dumps, they don't have a website like this. And you could tell you could tell you could tell when a website is rushed and when it's not. So sometimes on these on these penny stocks, you can see the disclaimer on the bottom of the website, and you, you just read it and and it'll tell you that it's that it's not not all the data is valid on the website, and that's like the biggest sign for for it being a pump and dump stock specifically for, just for that. So th this is actually like a legit company. Let's see, HakassianHealth.com. Yeah, yeah. So here it is on on Google News. It should be right here. No, let's, or glass, yeah, so they have Glassdoor as well. Yeah, so this is a legit company, but it just keeps following these, these pump and dump patterns. I don't know why. So most challenging fulfilling job market career. Yeah, so. 
Yeah, so you could tell this is not a this is not a company that's just meant for pump and dumps. It's it's a legit company, but but here look look at the patterns. It's a typical pattern that it's it's the type of pattern that you want for buying low and selling high. So you know it keeps repeating, keeps repeating. Yeah, so this don't don't worry about this right now. Yeah, so everybody has their own their own training style. So see watch list on these guys right here too on the right. I'll see right here. So it's almost gained two months of losses today, up 1.21 to 35.39%. As where it says CEOs buy sell save time sending buy sell and save time sending email alerts. Keep close. Let's see. Watch this for tomorrow. Yeah, so most likely these are penny stocks as well. Let's see, PTX. Lower than 10 bucks. Yep, 75 cents. Let's see, MP, RESN. Yeah, so most likely these are priced under, under, under $10. Yeah, oh, oh, here it is. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, so, you know, these guys, they build a, a target list on their website, using the website, and then they they have a mass email sending. So they basically send these emails to everybody telling you it's, it's hot, go buy it before it explodes. And by the time they already send it, they already would have invested in the stock. So you buying it, the person that buys it is just adding to, to the price, and then when it's high, they, they sell it. So, yeah, so this is typical, typical stock that you want to buy low and so high and it's under 10 bucks so you know it's a penny stock and so now if you just keep tracking this stock you just see that it's going to be a top gainer eventually again because it was over here too as well back in right here between may and right here and so now this i'm saying again this is one of the patterns that you really want to look for when it comes to finding these these pump and dump uh, pattern stocks right so maybe i'll i'll put a list of of these other patterns of these stocks that have other patterns but right now i just want you guys to focus on this and just observe the movements so the thing is I, i'm using finviz I, I don't like using my screener but you could you should look at it whatever you want but the best the best way would be to to use candle or advanced yeah, so you know it's the momentum, momentum, dip, momentum again. So I I don't use candle. I just use advanced when I'm looking at at the screener using Finviz, and this this will actually is good. So catch you guys later.